We're in a beautiful field on Mount Zion where King David established his capital. What a miracle, the rebirth of Jerusalem in our time. It's really an amazing thing. And once again, Jerusalem is the spiritual capital of this world. Everybody understands that we have to connect our roots and our roots starts here. You have the Western Wall, you have Mount Zion, you have King David's tomb, you have the Tehillim here, you have King Solomon, our future Messiah. This is where we started, was our roots. So somebody comes here to learn Torah, for a seminar, for Shabbaton, walks around, gets a tour, he gets affected. And that's what it was all about. And this compound that you're going to see is being developed every day in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. Since then, till today, keep building more and more the place and upgrading it for the service of the Jewish people. Amazing. We build this educational center, which has 300 beds, and we're going to build more and more Bezrat Hashem. It's all for the education of the Jewish nation. It's right here with the help of our partners. It's been built and they'll build more and more business. But it's not just education, it's also a place to sleep. Right. And, and nice bathrooms. Right, it's true. But if you don't have the proper facilities, you cannot relate to the generation. That's right. The ancient has to be connected to the new, to the reality. And that's what it's all about. You have an amazing vision. Your father had an amazing vision. You're continuing it through. But you have amazing partners as well, creative partners. One of them is Steve Schlesel, an amazing creative person. He is one of your big partners in, in making this place happen. This is a picture of his father. Right. I think it came from him. One of the most amazing things about Steve, a lot of people give me money, but they want something out of it. I can say it with a full heart. He doesn't want nothing out of it. It's just good for the Jewish people. That's right. You know, this picture and this sign only came up after 10 years investing millions in the place. Only he came with his sister, so his family wanted to honor his sister, his family, so he had to put this, he, he never did it. For years and years, you know him, but that's the guy. Steve believes in strong Jews. Yeah. Strong. Spiritually, leadership-wise, overcoming the hardships, and being able to fight, being able to fight the Torah, being able to fight physically, to really survive in this world and not be pushed around. What King David is about. In the past, he had the army come here for weekends, and have seminars 200, 300 at a time. We have a new program on Heart Sion. It's a four day course with the Army, and every officer will stay on Heart Sion before they yeah, become an officer commander. And it's a huge blessing for us. How do you feel about Heart Sion after spending some time here? Uh, we have a wonderful uh, Shabbat. Thank you very much. Now, the Army came to us directly. No other organization directly says, listen, we have 300 to 500 reserves that need seminars. We need a place that connects them. Can we use your place? I wow. said, yes. And they came in and went wild. For 20 minutes, we made up. They stayed here over two and a half hours. Go, wow, wow, this is our place. Right. If they know what they're fighting for, if they know the history of the people, they know that we've been warriors all this time and that we've fought back our enemies and that we continue to establish our independent kingdom here, then they'll, they'll know what they're fighting for. If we have the education of Torah in one hand and our sword, a soldier in another hand. Because without spirit, without morals and ethics, and without a sword, we can't exist in this world until Mashiach will come. So in 2005, when I started this project with a rabbi, you had about 30, 40 students learning single. Today, I have 250 students learning full time. That's Ooh. the growth. And why? Because we built this place. Rabbi created the Scholarly Institute. And he's also setting up a college curriculum for the students. He's bringing people back to the roots where they come from and giving them a great start in life. We have here uh, five yeshivot, and each yeshiva is like a special program for specific needs of the Jewish people. What you see here is the Bismedrash of Diaspora Yeshiva. So we have here a program for Jews that come from America, English speakers, and also Spanish, you know, so Central and South America, and learn Hebrew. And the building itself is long-term. This is a 200 <laughs> building, right? This building is long-term. As we saw, we just upgraded it to be a marble floor. We had to break here the, the, the pillar and redo the, the arch here. Make it really up to par. Right. They're able to be used in the best way, in a more modern 
accessible way for our generation. To learn that ancient Torah. To learn that ancient Torah, that's what it is, what it's about. And right here, we start a new program, it's called The Stars of David, and most of them are artists. They know how to play guitar, they know how to paint, like you see here in the window, the guitars, the artists, so they learn in this room, there's about 25 boys, new boys that came in from America, actually. It's not like a, just for like straight, the square people. No, no, There's no. something here with an energy of uh, artistry. Look, you feel it. This area, we call it Torah Mitzion. That's the name of the yeshiva. It's basically for kids that come from very good homes, but somehow along the line, they got into trouble. Lost their way. Lost their way. We had to build a shelter. This is a shelter for the boys. Otherwise, we weren't able to fit the criteria of the government. So we built it very quickly and without touching their walls back and forth. We just actually recently renovated this area. It is a new Whoa, dormitory, wow. beautiful dormitory as you see here. Wow. You enjoy this yeshiva? I love this yeshiva. What's, what's amazing about this yeshiva? Tell me. In this yeshiva, you got to do uh, what, is, what is meant for you. We're basically, saying we're trying to educate them according to what's their need, personal need, and let them grow. It's not usual to ask questions of a rabbi in a bathroom. <laughs> but this is a nice bathroom. Right. Not all yeshivas have a nice bathroom like this. Right. Why do you care so much about the aesthetics? Our heritage is our honor. Our heritage has to be the most beautiful. The glory of it has to be so strong right. that when somebody comes to it, he can connect to it and enjoy it and has to be accessible for the modern age, modern era. We have five Batim and Dashot here in Mount Zion. Mm. Five different programs. Totally, each one is different because the Jewish people have a lot of different types of Jews. And Mount Zion belongs to everyone, so we have to touch as much as we can. So we see here is a beautiful Bismedish. There's about 50 boys here, learn here. The boys themselves, for example, build this. It's like an art, right? One of the boys have had the skills and he built it. We gave Look at this wood. beautiful inlaid light. Inlaid light, right. Nice. All Jewish work of our students. All, and that's the idea is to give them the the opportunity to create. You know, create, right? The team that I have, the teachers, they're not coming for the job, they know how to do the job. They're coming from the heart and they have the skills. Here, Bo Hashem, thank God, I have the best team. Where's the spirit of King David in all this? And to train leaders. So leadership training. Leadership, spirit, tehillim, prayers to God. One of the major things we have the yeshiva, we make vad musa. Action training. Yes, character training. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we have professional people to do it. Really? And it works, yes. You come and you see the changes of the people to caring for others, caring about yourself. It really works. See, I don't, I don't remember my yeshiva having white pigeons. Right. What is this? The boys come out of this store and sit here and they hear the voice of the, of the birds. The cooing of these the pigeons. The cooing of yeah, No, it yeah. gives a lot of tranquility and relaxation. It's a very big thing. And some boys take care of them, it heals them. A Jew like me loves a good Beit Midrash. A good Beit Midrash is very powerful. But I love this one especially. There's something very special about this Beit Midrash. It's a little underground. Uh, it's got this ancient facade. Tell me a little bit about this Beit Midrash. Why am I pulled to it? It's right adjacent to King David. It's a little bit under the ground. This place was all filled with walls and earth up to here. We had to dig everything out, reveal the room the way it was before break the walls and make halls out of it. Like you see a wow. Bismedish. Wow. And you put a beautiful marble floor, stars of David. The boy goes outside, he sees the monument of King David's tomb. He comes in here, he connects to our heritage. And that it touches it. Tell me a little bit about this phrase here. Ki mitzion tetzet Torah, from Zion will come forth the Torah. This Bismedish contains boys that come from very tough, Families, low economy. Why would you want to take those kids in? I mean, they're going to be a problem here now. That That's the thought of a normal person, but it's not the thought of Hashem. This group of the Jewish people need tremendous healing. And the best place to heal the wounds is right here. It's, it's magical. 90% of the kids that pass through here, as long as they stay here over a year, we're very successful with them. This building here is dedicated to my mother, Devora. May she rest in peace. And my granddaughter, Zahava Devora. It functions now as a dining area. Plus, they used to have a capacity of about 75 meals a day. And now we can do about 1,200 in here. So it's allowed us to do big events. The roof is named after my granddaughter, which is a future on top of the base of my mother. So this is the stairs. It entices you to the big view when you're walking up the stairs. So here we have a huge panoramic view of Jerusalem. It's beautiful. You have the new city in the far distance. You have over here a neighborhood called Abu Tor. 
And you have the Mount of Olives, probably the most important cemetery for the Jewish people. There's a Lutheran church up there, and there's a very famous cemetery here. It's a Christian cemetery, and Schindler is buried in here. Over here, you can see the Golden Dome of the Temple Mount in the distance. But here, we have simchas. People have had everything from bar mitzvahs to engagement parties to weddings. We put fencing and we put a retractable roof, which slides and gives you shade. And we also built underneath it a sukkah, very kosher sukkah. Difficult process, as you can see. And Joshua crossed from those mountains into the land of Israel. Moshe gave a second Torah over there near Moab. So there's just incredible history here. Now we're gonna replace flags that got weathered by the winds and show our pride. Now I've seen many a basketball courts in my life, but never one with the Star of David uh, in the middle of it. Where are we? <laughs> we're here in the Mount of, of King David. Our, our kingdom, our heritage. Obviously you have to have in the center, Star of David. Right in back of us, we have the Temple Mount. Here is not only a basketball court, it's also a soccer court, and there's also a place where we make events for kids of terror kids, bar mitzvahs, for weddings, the army, the police, you know, that makes event, that we make it right here. In the summer, we have sometimes, we had 800 kids of birthright stayed right here, another 4,500 on the rooftop there, and the bottom floor and also in the courtyards there. We had one time 1,400 kids of birthright right here on one shot on Mount Zion wow. having third meal wow. on Shabbat, or Shabbos meal. It looks like a great basketball court as well, right? It's up to par. Well, I think that when we look at this basketball court with the Star of David in the middle, we really see it all come together. On the one hand, that it's a yeshiva and an outreach center, an educational center, a healing center, but it's also got this creativity. So it really all comes together with this kind of vision of creating an amazing spot here on Mount Zion, overlooking the Mount of Olives, overlooking the Temple Mount, overlooking the Kotel right over there. It, it all kind of comes together in this, in this vision that you guys put together. Yourself, your vision. And my partners. When they would all come to the Temple Mount, over here was an ancient mikvah. There were hundreds of them around here because when they go up on the Temple Mount, they would first go in mikvahs. But we need to reactivate this ancient mikvah. Something we're going to accomplish. This building here, which we totally renovated, we're looking to add two to three floors on top. In the last week, we started to fix this area here. There's a room here that goes underground. It's right adjacent to King David's tomb. And it goes down about three meters down. And from there, it's a new opening. We're going to start excavating the entire Mount Zion, underground Mount Zion. And then now we're gonna, we found like an arch opening that goes to another room under the ground, about 12 meters down. And there's old arches there and maybe 2,000 year old buildings. So after we finish basically to renovate the top of Mount Zion and use it for the Jewish people, now we need more space. We have to connect more to our roots. So the roots have started rooting down deeper and deeper. And that's the next stage we're going to get. In the next few years, we're going to renovate and reveal the entire ancient Mount Zion the Jewish Mount Zion discussion. I'm sure this will actually reveal the real, real heritage of the Jewish people right here in Mount Zion. I just want to say thank you to all the partners. In your lifetime, you can see the fruits of your labor, what's coming out of here. And there's a lot more to do more. Now's the time to start rolling. Rabbi, I want to tell you it's a big schut to know you and to know this yeshiva, seeing the development on the Mount of Zion, seeing the rebuilding of your shalim, it's a miracle. Amen, 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 amen. Thank amen, you for amen. your creativity. Amen. Thank you to all your partners uh, that Thank make you it all. happen.